The tangled web of information and allegations emerging from the Facebook and Cambridge Analytica data mining story has a number of threads leading to BC. Here are a few. Christopher Wiley, whistleblower the pink-haired, 28-year-old Victoria native who first began dabbling in politics as a teenager around 2006 when he became the youth representative for Liberal MP Keith Martin in the riding of Esquimalt Juan de Fuca, Christopher Wiley told CBC News that Cambridge Analytica targeted millions of Americans during the election campaign without their knowledge based on psychological profiles and surveys. Lily Martin, CBC, Wiley transferred to Martin's Ottawa office and went on to work for the federal Liberals, the US. Democrats, the Liberal Democrats in the UK, and eventually for London-based Cambridge Analytica, the company at the center of the international data mining scandal. Wiley is now blowing the whistle on a number of voter manipulation schemes run by Cambridge Analytica and other companies. Cambridge Analytica founded in part by Wiley, the British political consulting firm, whose vice president was former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon, is alleged to have obtained the private information of more than 50 million Facebook users, which was then used to influence voter behavior for clients such as Donald Trump in his 2016 election campaign. Facebook expressed outrage over the misuse of its data as Cambridge Analytica, the British firm at the center of a major scandal rocking the social media giant, suspended its chief executive. AFP, Getty Images, Wiley has described himself as the developer of Bannon's psychological warfare tool, Aggregate AIQ, the Victoria, BC-based data services company is purported to have had an outsized role in convincing British voters to leave the European Union in a way that sidestepped Brexit campaign spending limits, whether the firm was in on the alleged illegalities itself is still unclear, although Wiley and another whistleblower have indicated they were. Aggregate Take is still listed in the Johnson Street directory despite having vacated the building two months ago. Sterling Eifert, CBC, in a statement to CBC News, Aggregate Take says it, has never knowingly been involved in any illegal activity. Jeff Sylvester, AIQ co-founder the Victoria resident is described by Wiley as a mentor from his teenage days. Sylvester, 41, worked as executive assistant to Martin when he served in Parliament. Wiley said he urged Sylvester to join him in London at Cambridge Analytica, but Sylvester did not want to move from Victoria and offered instead to set up a Canadian arm of the company. Zach Massingham, AIQ co-founder Massingham, 35, is also a Victoria resident with political ties. Before forming AIQ in 2013 he worked on the 2011 BC Liberal leadership campaign of Mike DeYoung, former BC. Privacy Commissioner Elizabeth Denham now holds the same role in the UK and is investigating Cambridge Analytica, Facebook and Aggregate take on allegations of improper data mining. CBC, Elizabeth Denham and Michael McAvoy, the former BC Information and Privacy Commissioner was appointed UK Information Commissioner in 2016 and is now pursuing investigations on various fronts, including into Aggregate take Cambridge Analytica, and Facebook for alleged misuse of personal information. BC's incoming Privacy Commissioner Michael McAvoy has been seconded by Denham and is leading the investigation into the Brexit Leave campaign in the UK. Meanwhile, BC's acting Privacy Commissioner Drew MacArthur is looking into aggregate take under the direction of Canada's Office of the Privacy Commissioner. With files from Matthew Braga, Adrian Arsenault, Jennifer Barr and Albert Lee.